One thing that I've always admired about both Greg and Gilbert is they have the ability to step back, put things in perspective, and say, come what may, tomorrow I will still be getting out of bed and going to mind to do good things. Greg is a master, you know, tactician. He's very, very analytical. And Gilbert is very, very operationally focused, and he has great, uh, you know, clinical data in all areas. So when you put the combination together, they both complement each other extremely well. I mean, the idea was to, to build maybe a little bit of a different kind of pharmaceutical company that could over time deliver material medicines to Canadians and have a real impact on their lives. Especially pharmaceutical means that uh, you're, you're focusing down on a particular segment of the, uh, of the pharmaceutical market. Usually it's going to be in uh, areas in which the, uh, uh, the patient population is a bit more, more limited. I, I think there was a uh, kind of a dark period in the earlier part of this decade for specialty pharmaceutical companies. First of all, there were, I would say, bad actors in the marketplace that were using uh, the acquisition of drugs purely as a financial play, getting significant amounts of bad press, and I would argue doing some real harm to the patients that were relying on those drugs um, to live. And so that was kind of the, the overview of the market or what was happening in the market as we were out trying to buy one of these classic legacy drugs. We needed to get that first very significant asset and that was Clauseril. Clauseril uh, is the only drug that can uh, be of assistance to those schizophrenic patients that do not respond to first-line antipsychotics. It's incredibly effective. It works on about 80% of the people that take it, and it fundamentally changes their lives. That was the real driver for us, and uh, we thought there was an opportunity to grow that product and bring it to more patients. I believe that HLS goes way above and beyond what's required to provide a, a true treatment paradigm. I think Closerel has definitely made an imprint and an impact on my life. I think it trumped all the drugs that I've done before it. It's just helped like slowly being able to like pick up the blocks and like keep moving forward. That was a challenge to convince people uh, that we had a different approach. We were looking to bring material medicines to the market. We were not going to base our models on price increases. That just wasn't part of our business model. I think that gave companies like Novartis comfort that we would be a good steward of their asset. And I think it gave the investors comfort that we were really in this to build a sustainable, long-term pharmaceutical company, not just a quick financial flip. We anchored a $385 million financing, so it was a combination of $200 million of equity and $185 million of debt financing, which uh, was for the purchase of uh, Clauseril from, from Novartis. This fundraise was unique in Canada. $385 million was the largest uh, private fundraising for a Canadian healthcare company uh, to date. And so obviously it created a foundational business. As time progressed, um, we then established a second therapeutic area, which is in the cardiovascular prevention, um, which ultimately led to us uh, getting what I think is going to be our flagship product going forward. Vesipa presented an interesting profile in that it was an existing approved product in a very large market, our neighbors in the U.S. Uh, for decades, various companies have been trying and failed to address the cardiovascular risk which exists beyond cholesterol management and blood pressure management. So we knocked on Amron's door. They were not looking to outlicense the product to Canada. They were very much focused on building their business in the U.S. HLS is a company that's been founded by some people who it seems everything they touch you know, turns to gold. And they convinced us that they would be the right partner for us for Canada and we're really excited to be working with them but they were about three quarters of the way through this major reducer trial, which is a cardiovascular outcome trial, where they were trying to show that if you took Vesipa on patients that were stabilized on a statin and had high triglycerides, that you could reduce the likelihood of those patients having a major adverse cardiac event. And they spotted uh, and looked at our data and decided that this was something that they wanted to take a chance on you know, before we had the results. And you know, working with people of that kind of uh, integrity, um, that's really where we want to be as a company. So uh, we worked alongside Greg and Gilbert and the team at HLS uh, on the opportunity. Uh, we really helped them diligence it and um, you know, understand it and importantly license it in. Uh, to Canada um, before the, the data came out on, on the reduced trial. Uh, of course, what, what uh, occurred a year later uh, stunned uh, the medical community. We obviously thought that there was significant potential with Facepa. We were, however, surprised by just how good the results were. They were truly extraordinary. The study showed that it lowered 
risk by an additional 25% on top of that risk that was already lowered by statins. That's never been shown before. Cardiovascular um, risk is the accounts for the most deaths in the world, it's the most expensive area of healthcare costs and prevention at an affordable price, which is what we're doing with this product, uh, you know, we think will help save uh, millions, if not tens of millions of lives. Some commentators say that Vasipa is the, is the largest development in cardiovascular prevention since the advent of the statins. And we were fortunate enough to have acquired the Canadian rights to that product. So it's now in front of Health Canada. Uh, with an accelerated review. Uh, and that's significant for two reasons. The first reason is it reduces that timeline by about four and a half months, which means hopefully you can get your product to market sooner, have a benefit to Canadians sooner. Uh, the other greater benefit is just the, the overall uh, enhancement of the perception of value of that drug. And one of the, the critical things that happened during the year was uh, listing the company on the uh, TSX and V, and then subsequently we have uplisted to the big board on the, uh, on, on the TSX. This uh, enables us to access capital, and of course capital is the raw material that allows us to acquire products, find innovative products, and bring them to Canada for the, uh, for the benefit of, uh, of patients. So that was extraordinarily uh, important. The ability to, with calm, cool heads, evaluate uh, opportunities and risks, Put in place all the administrative support that you need in order to make those opportunities come to fruition. Build out commercial infrastructure to make sure that you can realize the potential of these, uh, of these opportunities and spot that gold nugget. But deep within, it's about the value of the work. And the value of the work is they are doing something wonderful for Canadian cardiac patients. And I think every morning that they wake up and they think about that, that's what gives them the drive to go to work.